What makes a monster, and from what wicked seed do they develop the atrocities they do? Although we are aware that it occurs in children, no one is truly certain. The discovery that Ted Bundy's big sister was actually his mother is thought to have set off his murderous anger. When his fiancée eventually turned him down for another lady who didn't want him, this emotional fissure and its effects would completely disappear from him. It's possible that Gong Runbo's early exposure to murder contributed to this. His early years are largely unknown, but there are rumors that he saw his uncle being killed. Gong served eight years in prison after being found guilty of raping a young girl. Gong avoided the police as a 32-year-old free man without a job, prospects, or meaningful connections. He ultimately made his way to a slum in Heilongjiang province, close to Jiangxi City. He kept to himself and played games all day long in the neighborhood internet cafes. However, the Jiangxi City Police began to notice they had an increasing number of missing children not long after he had established in. These figures increased month after month. Every day, mothers would beg for updates. Any information on their children's whereabouts. The pattern took the police some time to recognize. Before one of the missing children actually leapt into their arms, the case had few leads and little momentum. One of the missing lads raced down the congested street between the shacks until he encountered two law enforcement officers who were on patrol. The kid was so terrified and gasping for air that there wasn't much they could extract from him. He eventually was able to tell the investigators where he had fled to, and one of the officers went into the slum to look into it. The police officer came into a bizarre scene after passing a few deserted residences. He observed a naked man riding what appeared to be a rocking horse through a broken window. Gong Run Bo was the man in this point, the accounts start to become a little hazy. According to some stories, the rocking horse wasn't made of wood but rather was pieced together using pieces from the missing kids. Others allege that Gong was only the subject of police action after the youngster who managed to flee informed them of the bodies. Whatever the case, on February 28, 2006, a raid was taking place while an officer followed Gong out of his house and into one of his favorite cafes. Four children's rotting corpses as well as more than a dozen pairs of shoes were discovered there. Police discovered bones and other partial remains, which made them think he had murdered over 20 kids. Following Gong's arrest, an investigation found that he had been luring his victims from internet cafes with the promise of food or gaming. A hunting technique that is startlingly common. Another serial killer from China, Huang Yong, also hunted at internet cafes. It was discovered that Gong had also abused five more children, but for some reason, he let them go. Serial killers frequently act in this way. John Wayne Gacy, for instance, drugged and raped a guy but saved his life for unidentified reasons. Gong displayed a worry pathology. It appeared that he had several paraphilias which motivated his sexual offenses. His past rape arrests may have influenced his decision to kill the kids he sexually raped. There would be no witness against him if he killed them. Even though Gong Runbo was found guilty of only six of the twenty alleged killings, there was still some uncertainty. How? How did he continue to kill? How did he manage to avoid capture for so long? Families of the victims were in the forefront of the search for answers. Before Gong started his gruesome labor, China had adopted a law banning children from entering internet bars. However, neither the owners nor the police were properly enforcing it. When it came to looking for the missing youngsters, the police likewise exhibited shocking apathy. In a news conference on Gong Run Bo's trial, Wu Heiping, a spokesperson for China's Ministry of Public Safety, would state, unfortunately, Six dead kids may have died as a result of our mistakes. Again, the inaction of the police is reminiscent of the case of Huang Yong, whose murders were only put an end when one of the young men he had kidnapped managed to escape and call the authorities. On December 20, 2006, Gong Runbo was executed by a single gunshot to the head after confessing to his crimes. Information on Gong Run Bo and what has been nicknamed the Rocking Horse Murders is difficult to find because of China's strict control over the media. In the province of Heilongjiang, the convicted rapist Gong Run Bo abducted and killed at least six children, while there is evidence that suggests the number could be higher, 
Despite the fact that Gong's home allegedly had over 10 pairs of children's shoes, authorities claim there is only sufficient evidence to accuse him of six fatalities.